On today's episode of the Jamaican Cooking Journey, I'll be sharing with you a little potato salad. We have not made a potato salad on the channel here for the longest while. So I'm going to be showing you a little potato salad. Put in a little twist, of course, to the presentation and all of that. Because what else can we twist the, 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 the natural thing with? Just maybe the presentation. But I want to pause right here to say special thanks to my patrons. Welcome and thank you to my new patrons. Thanks to the new people coming on to the Jamaican Cooking Journey page. And manners and respect to those that started the journey with me. But in a salad, a little different on the Jamaican Cooking Journey. So what I have here, I've got some um, potatoes here. I, I don't know if it's that Yucatan, coal or whatever. But we are not a big fan of the type of potatoes in Jamaica. Because actually with a Irish potato, anything we get we take. But I know there are a few different little types. But these are the ones that I'm using today. The skin is very thin. I find that the texture of them works good for potato salad. So I've got them here in some water. And I'll be just cleaning them to the best of my ability. I'm just going to be brushing them with my little, whatever this little brush is, getting them all clean. And today, for the first time, I'll be making these. I'll be cooking them off in the skin. The skins are really thin, so I'm going to go get them washed and return. Mm -hmm. So I'll be putting a little salt to the water, not a lot, because the skins are on, so you know it's hard if you absorb the salt, but I'll show you. Oh, we're gonna be doing it. I'm gonna put it into cold water, put them into cold water, and I'm gonna turn the heat medium and leave it to come to a boil. These might take about 25 to 30 minutes. I'm gonna have it there. So as soon as it starts boiling, I'm gonna be lowering the flame. I always start my potatoes and in cold water. So I'll be putting my potatoes, leaving them right there. Also, I'll be putting eggs to this. And I'll cook the eggs in there, but I'll show you at what interval I'll add the eggs. I have here half of a medium onion. I'll chop to the amount of, um, you do this to the amount of um, potato salad that you're going to be making. So what I'm going to be doing, some people really don't like the chunk of onions in the potato salad. I really don't mind it chunky, but maybe like this, not too big. But my point is, I like to taste a flavor to the chunks of onion in the potato salad i don't get the um the mayonnaise flavoring the onions so i'm gonna show you what i'm gonna be doing i have in here about a quarter cup of white vinegar and to this i'll be adding a tablespoon or a little more than a tablespoon of sugar i'm gonna dissolve it in there and i'm gonna warm it okay and i'm gonna be pouring it over the onions to let them stay there give the onions that little sort of cooked like taste and also that flavor from the vinegar and the sugar next clip so this is my warm vinegar and my little sugar i'm putting it in there hot it will soften the onions somewhat and also take out that you know that pungent taste out of it and it will also be flavored with that little you know vinegar you know that little pickle something so we're gonna leave that and when we are ready to put our thing together, we will have it. Let's take a look at our potatoes and the cooking. You see, our water is coming to a boil. So at this point, I'm going to lower my flame and going to leave it to cook for another 15 minutes. After that 15 minutes interval, that's when I'll come to add my eggs. I'll catch you then. So this is the pace at which my potatoes are cooking and I'll gently add my eggs right now and I let them go and cook off until my potatoes are like uh, not fully all the way cooked. I don't like a waterlogged cooked potato for my potato salad. So I'll show you when I at what interval I'll come, remove my eggs and I'll test my potatoes and I'll show you what I'll do. Mm -hmm. So I did say in one of those clips, I'll be adding some bacon so at this point I'll be rendering off a few pieces of bacon okay so whilst all of that is happening we'll render these few pieces of bacon as we go along I've also removed my onions from that 
little stock that I that's um, vinegar and sugar stock. So I just that's what I'll be doing. I don't know. These they can this is a really tall but that's what is happening. I'll catch you. The next clip. Mm -hmm. I've removed them and I've drained them properly. So I leave them to cool because you know the potato salad is a cold dish so you don't want to put anything in there at and this stock here if you are really like into like economi economizing you can just freeze it and leave it to make some put it when you're making your chicken your beef your whatever stuff it is flavored next clip so these you see the paste at which so i'm gonna remove my eggs now and i'll be putting them into some ice cold water to cool off remember this is a cold dish huh eh? And oh wow, I'm gonna show you something. So, my eggs are in water, ice cold water. I'm gonna use my skewer now to test my potatoes. And my potatoes are cooked, they are not waterlogged. So, I'm also going to remove my potatoes from the water right now. You see that? A thin skin there. Now is the time. To remove the potatoes and what I will do I'll show you what I'm gonna do I'm gonna leave my potatoes to cool down outside of the water cover them and let that heat or that steam let them just cool down for a time when they're properly cooled down I'll come back and I'll show you how I'm gonna put this together I have got here my rendered bacon pieces next clip mm -hmm. so I'm picking my eggs just now they have been properly full and I just want to show you how they are peeling nice peeling real nice so I cook them slow and low for probably about 20 minutes okay remember I had the potatoes in first and this is how easy they come from the shell and you remember that there is a little coating um, on top of the egg after you see that so I just give it a little rinse in the cold water and they have cooled down somewhat nicely boiled eggs but these as have been cooled down somewhat they're still a little warm you see this thinness this thin strip so I'm just removing it and you can see as I remove it and how the potatoes look so you don't want to get your potatoes all mushed still cooked in the skins and you remove uh, these i like to use these potatoes they have a very good texture so you see that once it um you could cool it down in some water too but i really don't like i like them cooling down on them own i like cooling down on their own and i just remove this um this is a thin strip so i'm going to put it here in my cute little pot and I'll be doing all of them. Every single patient will leave back here. I'm gonna give them the same treatment as that one. Eggs are there, onions are there. We have got our, um, our, our rendered bacon over there. When you see me next, we're gonna put this potato salad just together, because actually I know somebody's mouth is truly. Mm -hmm. Potatoes have cooled down somewhat, and I'll be dicing them now. You know, I don't want to dice them too, too fine. You see, they have this beautiful texture. And you don't want to cook them till they're waterlogged. So I'll be dicing them in pieces like this. You see that? They have this beautiful texture. These thin-skinned potatoes, they have this beautiful texture. And I notice it, it goes well with the, for the, the potato salad. So that's what I'm doing. And you can see them all them on. You don't want to cook them until they're all waterlogged and mush and just, you know, just mashing all over the place. So I'm putting my potatoes together right now. onions in they have been cooled so my potatoes are there my eggs have been chopped and you can do your thing to what you want okay I'm gonna add a little salt 
extra salt because these things, these potatoes, they weren't cooked outside of the skin. So it makes sense for me to add a little salt. At this point, I'm going to be adding some mayo. Use your mayo of choice. Use your mayo. I like a lot, but use your mayo. This is, might not be the best one, but this is the one I have right now. I'm going to be adding just a little bit, just a small amount of smoked paprika. Not too much, just to just turn it a little. And I'm going to be just tossing right now. You could just do what you want to do, okay? Tossing in this little pot. I'm just going to mix everybody together, those onions. You could put in your different um, colors. But I'm just leaving it as it is right now because I'm going to be having a garnish for it when I plate for you. So I'm going to get this all together, put it, and I'm going to leave it to chill for a time. Some people like corn. Some people like mixed vegetable. Some people like green peas. Do what you want. I, I did mine a few of them with all those, the corn and the green peas. So this one, I'm just trying to get it all playing out. So I'll catch you in the next clip. So I have tossed. And I'm going to leave it. I put my plastic wrap on. I'm going to leave it in the refrigerator to just get a little colder until you could do it 24 hours a day, two days before. Next. Mm -hmm. So we have got a little chill into our potato salad. But in the interest of time, you know, we're doing, we're getting some plating going on for you. So I'm going to be just... But you, as I say, you can put what you want, put in yours, it's yours. I'm just doing this like as it is right now. I'm doing some plating for you. And I'll show you, I've gotten some here. And I don't think I have a put in all. But maybe just, you know, see how it go? You see me egg them? Wow, these potatoes are the best for potato salad. So I didn't put any green peas. I just have, and what you're going to taste in this. You know what you're going to taste in this? You're going to taste that pickled onions in there. So, this is my potato salad. I've got some little grated cheese. I've got my rendered bacon bits. And I've got some green scallions. So, I'm going to be just gently just putting these on top of mine. Just as I put it, just, just try to imagine the taste that you will be getting when you do your potato salad. And as with any regular cook, who can resist some bacon? I'm gonna put in some cheese. Mm -hmm. Don't ask me if cheese go with potato salad, just try it, okay? You might not want to put too much cheese. Oh, huh? wow. I'm gonna finish it off with some of this greenery. So here you go, from my kitchen to yours, from my Jamaican kitchen to your family table, to your plate, and most of all to your stomach. It is potato salad done another way. We have probably about three on the channel. Please do enjoy. Try it with your cheese, your bacon, top it off with your, you know, and put what you want to put with. Remember, we have the pickled onions in there. You might not want to go too much. Enjoy.